Hello everybody, this is Akim with a short video to demonstrate how to receive Navtex messages using an SSB receiver and an Android phone. Our receiver is a Texun PL365, it's an SSB radio, so we can receive marina band, all marina band and all these kind of stuff, including the, uh, the frequency for Navtex and on the Android phone we are using Droid Navtex from Wolfie Solutions. This is a German guy living in the, US, the USA, uh, has programmed this program. So, this is how it looks. Um, the Texun is set up to 516.65 kilohertz using upper side band. So here upper side band, this is the digits and this is the kilohertz. And uh, the transmission frequency is 518, but to get a proper signal we need to go a little bit below. I found a recommendation to go to 516.65. This is how it is set up. In the first test we just transmit the signal through the speaker and receive it with a microphone. To get a proper signal out of a building we need to go quite close to a window somewhere. So inside a building is difficult to pick up the signal. Close to the window it is usually no problem. And I turn up the volume. In the Wolfie Droid Navtex, you see the waterfall, which basically shows the frequencies received. The message is from a test before. I erased this. So we have an empty signal. In a few seconds, when the signal comes up, we will see two lines, and this red box here will move to these two lines. And then we hopefully can receive some messages. Yeah, the transmission time is basically every four hours, there it goes. So I'm now going to try to use a cable, so I will interrupt the transmission and set up the, the Wolfi receiving cable. So with this cable there are basically a few components, just, uh, just a transistor and, uh, um, and some uh, resistors, that's all. It's a very simple setup to convert the 
signal from the radio in a signal which is suitable for the Android phone. The instruction to build this device you can find on on the Wolfie homepage. I can show you here. So there is a circuit diagram. This is the uh, programmer of the software as well and he gives these instructions how to build the cable. And also with the cable you can see a clear signal and it's not disturbed by any noise around. That's for the moment. I go further, some further instruction how to program the radio. Follows in one second. So to prepare the Texon PL365, you have to switch it to a frequency mode, which is uh, for, uh, for the lower frequencies. Um, in the standard setup, it will start at 520 kilohertz and you cannot go lower so you have to switch it to the mode that you can go below the 520 kilohertz therefore you have to turn it off and first long press the 910k button long press and you go to 9k then the MW long and press it twice to go to 150 so it starts now at 150 kilohertz. Turn it on. And now we're at 150, we have to go up. Two, five. 16 and now we have to switch to SSB mode you see upper side and lower side band now we are in upper side mode and now we have to go to the smaller steps this is this button and we can adjust 164 516.65 kilohertz. Of course, we need also the AM antenna. Comes with the radio. Here we have two jacks. Goes into the antenna jack, of course. And we are ready to go.